I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you don't already know, Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. There are links in the video description below so that you can learn the rules and scoring. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. I'm going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We have a flower, north and east, with a pair of norths. We have white, green, red, pair of reds for dragons. In cracks, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pairs of ones and threes. In dots, we have four, five, eight, pair of eights. In bams, we have three, four, five, six, pairs of threes, fives, and sixes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play the consecutive pair hand with cracks and then the concealed consecutive hand with the dragons. We're going to need more flowers, of course. We need a pair here and a pair here. We have three multiples that would maybe help with jokers for this hand because this hand you can't use jokers but we have one two three four five six six number range with pairs this is a lot of discards though we have four extra discards i try to make it so that whatever i play i have eight discards or less but we have a lot of multiples that really don't go together. Now we do have one, three, three, five, but that would really destroy both hands unless we switch to one, three, three, five, and then mixed suit Kongs. We would still have two pair that we're not using. Let's just see what the discards look like. So here we have 12 discards. That's a lot. So I would definitely reassess. So let's see about one, three, five, and then mix suit Kongs. One, three, three, five, six, seven, eight, two pairs we don't need, and ten discards. No gaps. So I think the other thing about this option is we could use the Joker bait for potentially two hands instead of just one. So. I think this probably has a better outlook. Maybe what we could do is hold the fives because we do have one, three, five here. We could maybe play the pair hand if we draw well. We need a one, three dot though, and of course one bam. So I would call that a long shot. 
but that might help us with discards a little bit have a plan B we have six seven eight six seven eight if we had a two dot we could do two dot four six eight dot maybe hold the four for two four six eight plan B two four six eight mixed suits that would be the fourth hand down joker bait discards here discards one three three five one three three five you know what we could maybe hold the white dragon because there's a one three five dragon hand with an offsuit dragon that's the fourth hand down under odds so there's another good plan b this is definitely a better plan so we have two hands with plan b's six seven eight mixed suit kongs with a plan b of two four six eight in mixed suits and then we have joker bait and then we have one three three five a couple ways and maybe even a pair hand or the concealed hand probably maybe more the pair hand as a long shot i think that's what i would do with these tiles The other thing I was thinking, actually, is keeping all 2468. Let's just see what this looks like. Keep all 2468. See what shakes out. Start by discarding these hold this for joker bait build on one three five little odds another thing you need to think about when you're doing little odds and you have little numbers this could become consecutive run really easily for example we actually have a hand in here three four three four five the pairs are there but the multiples are weak as weak as you can get without being a gap if we were to do that there would still be options for the remaining tiles so be mindful of consecutive run when you're working in odds Okay, I think that's what I would do. If you would do something different with these tiles, write your plan in the comment section below. Pull one. We have a joker, flower, pair of green dragons, and a white west-south pairs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs of fives and eights in cracks. In bams, we have one, three, four, six. In dots, we have two, three, four, six, seven, eight singles. These were your tiles. What would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play like numbers with sixes and dragons, and then five through nine 
consecutive run, maybe the pair hand. We need six numbers in a range for the pair hand. So we would need a four crack in here, which is a gap. But we do have two pair in there. So I would hold off calling for any discards and try to push this pair hand. It's always good if you can have at least one big hand. And then here, sixes with like numbers. But I think I would come up with a plan B here. We do have two, eight, and four here. So we could maybe do that two, four, six, eight hand. Two, four, six, eight. So discard those. Joker bait. Five through nine. Two, four, six, eight. Or like numbers with sixes. So I would hold these. Anytime you have a lot of discards, come up with plan B so that you have a good discard plan and give yourself some wiggle room with your weak hand. I would say this is pretty weak. Even though we have two multiples, we need Kongs. I mean, we could, we could Pung here and here, but these are weak. We need Kongs here. So that's pretty weak. That's why I would come up with this plan B. I'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a, there are actually more tiles by one playing that two, four, six, eight mixed suit hand. That would be fourth hand down under evens. And then use this for joker bait for one or both hands. If you would do something different with these tiles, right? Pull two, and what you would do. We have a joker, flower, pair of wests, green dragon. In cracks, we have one, two, three, five, six, seven. We have a pung of fives and a pair of sevens. In bams, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pung of fours, pair five, pung seven. And then in dots, we have two, four, six singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play a gap hand and build around multiples strong multiples with a gap hand is a bit risky but we could do five seven five seven nine dot we have no nine dot and it has to be a pair and that would be the concealed odd hand but we have pair pung pung pair all we need is a nine dot there are four nine dots between two players you'd think we at least draw one so i think i would risk it and then maybe do something with fours. One, two, three, four, four, consecutive run. Okay. One, two, three, four, four. This is weak. We need pairs here. This would be uh, 
second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe do a two, four, six, eight hand. We do have a lot of two, four, six, eight in here, even here. So maybe start by discarding those. Hold this for joker bait. And then here's five, seven, five, seven, nine dot, which we have a gap. Siamese Mahjong is a lot of fun to play and it's very challenging. If you have a set of tiles at home, try random pulls to dip your toe in the water of this new version. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. Thank you.